Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to import Facebook pages insights and post metrics to Airtable. So in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to import stats such as page impressions, page fans, and page total actions for any Facebook page that you manage. Using the data fetcher extension, we'll connect Facebook to Airtable without the need for code. We'll also schedule the Facebook pages Airtable integration to run automatically. So in order to begin, you want to arrive onto your Airtable base, and here we're going to install the data fetcher extension. So up in the top right-hand corner, you'll see this extensions button. Once you click on that, the following will pop up. We're going to select add an extension here and up here in the top right hand corner, we will search for data fetcher, nice and simple like so. And that will pop up. Click add and then select add extension. Now the following screen will load and you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Now it's time to import our data. So select the big blue button, create your first request, and the following screen will load. Here under application from the drop down menu, we are going to select Facebook page insights, and we will need to create a new authorization here by adding a new Facebook page insights connection. Select that blue button, and the following screen will load where we are asked to continue as our Facebook profile. Then once you've selected the page that you would like to connect with Data Fetcher, you will then be asked to give permission to the following requests. Select save in the bottom right hand corner, and then you'll be told you have now been connected to Data Fetcher. So we can select got it. And as you can see, this connection is now connected. For the endpoint, we are going to select overall page insights, and then we're going to give this request a title up here. So we're going to retitle this as fetch Facebook page insights. Then we're going to select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. And now for the page, you are going to select your Facebook page and the date range is for when you would like to import Facebook page insights for. So for this example, we're going to go with the last 30 days and then under metrics for this example, again, I'm going to choose page impressions. So I'm simply going to search for this so that it pops up easily. We're also going to add page fans and page total actions like so really nice and simple. You can also add any of the others from that drop down menu and then just select it. Then for the period, this determines how the data is aggregated. So for this example, we will use it by day and we're going to leave that selected like so. Then for the output table and view, you do want to have this as the table you have named it as and your grid view. Then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now the response field mapping will appear and this is where you can decide which of the fields you would like to have included in your Airtable base. For this example, we are going to leave all of these turned on because we have decided that these are the ones that we would like to import. But if you did want to turn any of these off, if you didn't want to include them, you just switch that toggle from green to gray like so. Then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, these fields are now being created. Select show output table. So now we'll arrive back to the following page. You can just close that extensions option over and you can see that your chosen Facebook insights data is now in your Airtable output table. Really cool. So now we're going to learn how to import Facebook post metrics into Airtable using the Facebook API. So we are going to create a new table for this and we're going to do this by clicking on the plus symbol next to your page insights table name. Here, select the plus symbol and we're going to select create blank table. Now we're going to title this as post metrics. Like so, then select save. Here, we're going to reopen our extensions option. So over to the right hand side, you'll see the extensions button, select that. And the following screen will immediately pop up. Here, you can see that previous request that you have already created, and we're going to create a new request. So select the create request button up here in the top right hand corner. 
And again, under application, we're going to select Facebook page insights, and that is already connected from earlier for the authorization. So for the endpoint, we're going to select page posts and engagement stats. Then we're going to give this request a title. So up where it says request to, we're going to retitle this as fetch Facebook post insights like so. Then select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner and the following screen will load. Here for the page, again, you're going to select your personal Facebook page and under fields, this is where you can choose which metrics you want to import data for. So for this example, we're going to import created time and you can go ahead and add that by typing it like so. We're also going to add message. You can just click on that there. Um, permalink URL, again, I'm going to type that but you can also scroll down as well. So we're going to look for post impressions like so and post reactions like total. So that'll be all the way scrolling down. And here we are, really great. Once we've done that, we want to set the limit for how many posts you would like to fetch data for. So the maximum limit is 100. We're going to go to that. Once you've done that, you can then choose your output table and view. And this is going to be the post metrics table that we have just created. Then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select continue. And as you can see, these fields are now being created. Here we arrive to the response field mapping. And like before, this includes everything that we inputted. So you probably don't want to turn any of these fields off. These are the fields that will be brought into your Airtable base. But if you would like to, again, you just switch that toggle from green to gray if you don't want to include those fields. Then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, these fields are now being created in our Airtable base. Select show output table. And as you can see, that has now brought in our post metrics as well with all of the selections that we wanted to have included. So this is amazing, but currently you would need to manually run the requests to import any updates to the Facebook Insights metrics. You can, however, run the Facebook pages Airtable integration automatically at regular intervals using Data Fetch's scheduling feature. So in order to do this, you do want to open up your extensions option again in the top right hand corner so that Data Fetcher will open again and bring you to your requests. Now here you will want to go into each of the requests and scroll down until you see the schedule option. Now you will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, but I really recommend that you do because it allows you to keep all of your records updated in Airtable without you having to do a thing and just having this happen automatically. So once you've upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, you can come back here and you will now see the schedule option like so. Here, all we have to do is select the authorize button and select I understand let's authorize Authorize. Data Fetcher will then request Airtable access. So down where it says add a base, you do want to select all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces and then select grant access. As you can see, this automatically switches that schedule this request option on. And here you can then decide how frequently you would like for this request to run and on which days. Once you've done that, you can select save. And then we're going to select the back button. And here you can see that request is going to run every hour. We'll go ahead and do the exact same thing in our Fetch Facebook page insights so that that is automatically updating as well. And as you see there, all I had to do was turn that toggle on from gray to green and everything is already set up. Then I can select save and close that window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to import Facebook page insights and post metrics to Airtable. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com, where we also have a full length blog on this exact topic, if you'd rather learn that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.